Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Boy Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be letting you guys know what you need to know before you buy, believe it or not, 2022 Tops Fire. Um, yeah, so this release completely just flew under the radar, so we're going to talk all about it. And I guess why Tops never even made a formal announcement about it, because... They just, it just flew under the radar, guys. So before we get into that, let's plug the giveaway. We're going to be giving away a mega box of 2021 Tops Platinum Chrome Anniversary. All you guys need to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications, and comment your favorite moment that has happened this year in Major League Baseball. I'll pick a lucky winner once I hit 4,000 subscribers. We're almost about 100 off, so make sure you guys get your submissions in. And so that way, you know, make sure you comment on a lot of videos so I see your comment. And it could be a different favorite moment every single time. It don't necessarily have to be the same one. So make sure you get your submissions in. I'll be picking the winner about once, a couple days after I hit 4,000. So make sure you get those in. So now let's talk about Tops Fire. A release that had literally no release date. I just checked this the other day. Because I love Tops Fire. Tops Fire is probably in my top five favorite sets each year. It goes for favorite sets. It goes Chrome, Update. Uh, I love Archives like this. I, I love Archives. I love the different sets. Um, I love Tops Holiday because I just, I just love Christmas. And typically every good rookie's in it. And Fire would be in there. So I was, you know, wondering when Tops Fire would come out. And all of a sudden, I'm just scrolling through, you know... Twitter and, and, and Instagram, and I see a post about 2022 Tops Fire, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, some guy was posting for a break on Tops Fire, and the the images of the blaster boxes and, and hobby boxes were on the post. I was like, hold up here, what's what's going on? I didn't actually see anything about this. Well, you guys typically know how Fire is a Target exclusive release. They changed that. It's now. A Tops.com release. And I said to myself, when has this become a thing, you know? And if you go look on there right now, Fire is actually on Tops' website right now as we speak. Now, if that actually changes by the time this video goes live about 13 hours from now, um, you know, I don't know. I'm recording this literally at 10 p.m., so uh, you have to wait all the way till 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. tomorrow. So it could be out of stock by now. I, I doubt it will, but... Tops Fire is out, and so we're going to run all about it. We're going to tell you who's in it, and we're going to tell you what the difference is between the Hobby Boxes and the Blasters. So, typically, like I said, this was a Tops or a Target exclusive, which seemingly is no more. If it's on Tops' website, I highly doubt, because I looked on the box, it doesn't say exclusive to Target like it did in the past. It, it On the box in the past, it said only at Target. It didn't say that this year. So I'm assuming maybe Tops Fire is going to be all over the place. Maybe it'll be at Walmart's, Target's, and online. I have no idea. But basically, if you don't know what Tops Fire is, it's a really cool and neat um, design on the card. It's really vibrant. Like If you like neon colors, this is going to be the set for you. That's why I like this set. It's really vibrant, and you would guess all the good rookies are in it. Um, the checklist, I skimmed through it right before this video. I didn't look at every single name, but I saw the likes of Jeremy Pena on there. So if Jeremy Pena is on there, everyone from Series 1 and Series 2 and Update is going to be in there. Um, I'd have to assume Seiya Suzuki's in there as well for you Cubs fans. Um, you know, so those are probably the two big guys coming out of update this year who didn't have a card previously, uh, Pena and Seiya Suzuki. So, you know, if, if all those guys are in from series one and series two, and these guys are an update. So if you want to go look at the checklist for yourself, it's on tops.com right now. And, you know, the, I looked at the autograph checklist. There's a lot of rookies in it, but, um, before we get into all that, let's talk about the hobby and blaster box configuration. So, We'll start with the blasters first. The blasters are $25 a piece, standard tops price, I guess. And what it is, is just, I think it's 
um, 12 packs with six cards a pack. So 12 times six, what is that? Uh, what, 48 now? I have no idea. I'm, I'm literally just brain dead right now. So you guys can figure out what 12 times six is. What's 24 times three? Four, 72. There you go. 72. So yeah, you get 72 cards in a, um, blaster box that literally lines up with how many you get in heritage. So for $25, I mean, it, the value could be better, but we're going to talk about the Hobby Box here, which is by far the better value. Hobby Boxes are $85. Now, when I say $85, you also have to realize it's like $15 to ship on tops.com. So whatever I say, add $15 on top of whatever you're going to pay. So basically, if you're just buying a Hobby Box, it's $85, but realistically, it's going to cost you about 100 um, so if, if I had to give you a recommendation by the limit, I think it's two per customer. If you're going to buy a lot of tops fire, buy two hobby boxes because, to, uh, they're $85 a piece and you get two autographs. Now, I don't think the autographs are on card if memory serves me correctly. They're sticker autos, but I don't understand the debate of sticker and on card autos. I really, quite frankly, don't care if it's a sticker or an on-card auto. Um, I know that's a big debate in the community for many years now, you know, but I have never been one to complain about a sticker auto unless the sticker itself was, like, crooked or something to where it, like, didn't look right, then, yeah, I would complain about that. But, you know, getting back to Tops Fire, the autograph checklist is pretty lengthy. You got your veterans on there. Like, I, I saw Mike Droughts on there and Shohei's on there. And, you know, there's a lot of rookies, like a lot of, like, lesser name rookies. But also, there's some good rookies, like Julio. Um, I saw Torkelson is in there. I saw Witt is in there. I saw O'Neill Cruz. I saw Lana Franco is in there. So all the, you know, the, the major names of Series 1 and 2, uh, and then the short prints of Series 2, of course. So, you know, I'm probably going to buy a, uh, or I should say a hobby box of update, or I should say uh, update, Tops Fire, um, because, well, quite frankly, you're getting two autographs and you're getting, um, 150 cards. So it's, what is it? It's six cards a pack and 24, uh, so that's like 144. So you're getting 150 cards basically for 85 bucks. And like I said, add shipping on that's like a hundred bucks, but you know, it's whatever. I'm sure you could get it cheaper, uh, shipping options, but Every time I ship from top, it's always expensive for some reason. And they take forever to ship. It said 10 to 15 days. So if you want to buy this release, I say go for it. Um, because, you know, Tops Fire, I've always loved Tops Fire. Uh, speaking of Tops Fire, here is a Tops Fire Key Brian Hayes rookie card from last year. And that is a pretty nice card because it's black and yellow along with the Pirates colors. I bought this on eBay, I'm pretty sure, last year. Um... You know, so Tops Fire is always one of my favorite releases. Like I said, I just love the, the vibrant colors of it. I'll probably buy two hobbies of it, probably. So that way I have different things to open on the channel, you know. Because, you know, we have to wait a long time before we actually get something new uh, when it comes to um, hobby. We have to wait literally a month still for Chrome. So we're just getting into September right now. We could have something... That could be an autograph. That could be an autograph. We are do another autograph in this box. Um, if you guys missed it, I pulled a redemption of um, Brandon Marsh. It's a black border out of 50. We just redeemed that the other day. And let's see if this is an autograph. Maybe it is. It is not. And... It deked me again, but I know Julio's not in this release, so I don't know why it would you know, deke me. But that is numbered, I believe, right at a 250. So there is that. And that is that. So, guys, let me know what you think about Tops Fire. I literally just had no idea if it was released. Because here's the thing. They didn't even announce it was coming out. It literally, I looked on the release date calendar. It said um, indefinitely delayed. And all of a sudden, it's on Tops' uh, Tops.com. So let me know what you think about this release. Are you going to pick up any? If so, how much? Um, I guess you're only limited to two blasters and two hobbies if you're going to buy it. But let me know what you think. If you're going to buy it, I would go with the hobby. 
two uh, autographs per box for 85 bucks. That is the cheapest. That's literally the cheapest autograph uh, box you could get because everything now is 100 plus bucks. So let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one.